G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a cloud pour for you today with the Folk Art Milk paint. Um, but before I get paint all over my hands, I'll just show you a couple of dried paintings. Uh, these two are the um, cloud pours with metallic in them, the 24k gold. This one had like a pink and burgundy and turquoise in it. Just trying to sh pick up that shimmer there for you. So that's dried really pretty. Very, very shiny and it's got that cloudy centre. So that's that one. And then the other one, which was a little bit darker which I think I prefer. Still very, very shimmery. You can see the gold is spread throughout the whole painting. I've got some beautiful lines there, beautiful rings. So it's dried really nicely. And that's that one. So yeah, that was with the satin enamels, but using the folk art milk paint today. Now the folk art are not making this milk paint anymore. I don't know why, but if you can still get it, grab yourself some because it'll be as scarce as hen's teeth soon. You won't be able to get it anymore. I have mixed up all my paints with Floetrol today and some water. So basically did two parts Liquitex Basics Oh, sorry, two parts flow troll to one part Liquitex Basics and then um, water as well. The white, normally I use the Artist Flow or Artist Loft Flow White, but I was thinking because you can't get it everywhere because it's a Michaels brand, I'll do a pour using the white Liquitex Basics and the milk paint. So I've mixed it equal parts. 20 grams of Liquitex Basics, 20 grams of milk paint, so that's 40 grams, and then two parts of the Floetrol, so 80 grams of the Floetrol. I haven't added any water to that. Uh, the milk paint, this bottle's finished now, but it's quite runny. Um, it is kind of like milk, it's quite runny, so I, I found I didn't need to add any water to that. It leaves a tiny little mound. When I did use water with it, it just didn't work. So taking the water out this time. The blue here is the Liquitex Thalo Blue with a dash of black to make it a bit darker. Two parts flow troll, one part paint and a dash of water. This one is turquoise blue. And then that one is just plain Thalo Blue without the black. That's the difference. Alrighty, and I've got my cup. If you can't get the milk paint anymore, you can substitute it with the satin enamels, but this is a little bit thicker, so you will have to add a dash of water if you're going to use that one. But uh, yeah, there's no reason why you can't use these two together with Floetrol and a little bit of water. So have a play around with it, see what you can create. Um, I'm going to actually, do you want me to show you the consistency? Let me show you my mound. My mound. All right, here we go. Tiny little mound. And I've got the stick, the bottom of the sticks about the top of the cup, so it's not way, way up. See, it doesn't leave a very a trace for very long at all. And it's a very thin trace, but little mound. So that's it. And the white's the same. I'm gonna pop a little bit of navy in the bottom first. I'm going to do two layers of everything, but um, actually I might do half, half the navy in the bottom. And I want to use half of this white in the cup and then the other half I'm going to put around the outside. So a little bit of white, equal amounts probably to the navy, half the turquoise, half the blue, and then we'll go with some more white. And that's enough of the white. And what will I go next? Uh, we'll go with this. 
finish that off. And then the navy, finish that off. Navy feels thicker than the turquoise. It's funny, some colours are just different, aren't they? If you're using the magenta and the Liquitex Basics, it's really thick. You have to add a lot more water. This one's a bit thinner. I had to actually add a little extra blob of paint. All right, that's as much as I can fit, fit in there. I should have used my bigger cup. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, let's put that there for a minute and I'm just going to just spread that leftover white around the outside. I've been really having fun with the pearl paws and the cloud paws. Just something a little bit different, isn't it, to all my usual flip cups that I do. Still like doing them, but when something new comes along, I do want to jump on the bandwagon and have a go, as they say. I'm hoping this white's not too thick. As I said, I did it just before. I, I videoed it, but I'm not going to put it up because it didn't really work very well. Um, I think the white was too thin. Okay, let's see if I can pour a circle. I do rather big rings just so that I can see the definition. I'm going to go the other way, get some colour on the other side as well. And change again. Otherwise you have all your colour on one side, hey. So I just change halfway through. And catch the drips. You can see all those cells and things that are happening on the inside of the cup already. There's still a lot of navy left in the bottom. I wonder if I can get some of that out. Always, that's probably why you need to have a little bit more in the bottom because it doesn't all come out. And I do like to have that dark center. I'm just going to use a little bamboo skewer just to sort of bring a little bit of color through it so it doesn't look so blobby. There we go, disguise it a little bit. Okay, let's move this paint around a little. You want to go over, do you? Okay, off you go then. Back to the middle. Um, all right, I'll turn it around so otherwise you're not going to be able to see me get this corner here. I really wanted that navy around the outside, but it's it's gone. I have to try and work out a way of how I can keep my outside colours. middle a little bit and then a change direction there goes all my navy I'll try and keep some of it I guess less paint you know if you're using less paint um, or if you want more navy then make up more navy but I got my navy in the center that's what I wanted Pretty does that look? It's so cute. Alrighty, let's give it a bit of a torch. Not too close, just popping some bubbles. You don't want to burn your paint by getting too close. doing a dirty pour like layering the paints and then just or pouring it into the center but then you don't get your rings which means you don't really get your clouds do you but I would like to try that just to see what happens 
But that's pretty. Better than the first one that I did anyway. Because my white was too thin on the first one. So I've got these dark area there which I like a little bit of dark there and then we've got those beautiful little cloudy cells popping up this is what I was hoping for see the, see the little dots there against that navy it's not sure how to, to do that maybe I just need one layer of white in the middle of my just one layer of white and then more color on the outside because I'm losing all that outside navy, which is a shame. And I kept a bit of the blue there, so that's all right. Just would have liked more of it. How much paint did I waste? It's mainly all white. Mm. Okay, um, I'll just let that develop for a few minutes. And then I will come back and show you the results. I'll zoom it in. Does look like a hurricane, doesn't it? Okay, I'll just zoom you in a little bit like so. Straighten it up. Okay. All right, I'll, uh, I'll come back in about 10 minutes and we'll see if it's changed. Hopefully it won't eat up all my navy in the center. All right, see you soon. Okay, I'm back. It's grown a little bit. Um, probably only about five minutes or so. I really want to try a dirty pour. So I'm going to mix up some more paints and see what happens. Do I want to? Maybe it'll go muddy. I don't know. Not sure what it's going to do. I'll just turn this light off here. Okay, I'll take you in for a close-up. See these little cute guys on the edges? Wish I had more of those. On the corners. There's some there too. So if I had a navy on the outside with those cute little white cells or pearls or clouds whatever we want to call them I would be happy with that so I've still got some of my navy got lots of cloudy effects happening there but see they've stayed in a circular pattern so if I did a dirty pour they may just sort of pop up everywhere hey that's what I'm thinking. Would I like to try that? I would actually like to try that. It probably won't work. It'll probably just be a big muddy mess because these paints are relatively thin. But I think I'd like to have a go at it. Yeah, why not? Give it a go. It's only paint. Okay, so that's that one there. Happy with it? it certainly does look like a a hurricane doesn't it <laughs> all right I'll, uh, I'll see for the next one and um, let's see if I'll do a dirty pour we'll see what happens okay thanks for watching bye for now